Hello and welcome to a special edition of Huddersfield Town Extra Time. We're having a bit of a learn watch this international break. Thanks to Sports Broker, we are joined with Romani Critchlow and Ramani Edmonds Green. How are you two doing? Doing good, man. Doing really good. Good. You, Romani? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I'm good. Good. We've got all the uh, R's in the building today, Raj, Roms and Rams. We're going to get get it going. Um, I want to ask you a bit of a ask you about your loans, obviously, but knowing that you two are mates, I'm going to ask you about each other's because you'll probably be uh, keeping an eye on each other. So, Roms, do you want to fill us in on how you think Rams has been getting on? Um, they've been doing well. I think he's played a lot of minutes, played some good football. Uh, see him running down the wing a few times. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I saw him screaming um, Beckham at one point, Regis Beckham on Twitter. So he must have whipped one in for an assist or something like that. But yeah, he looks like he's doing well up there, to be fair. Is that all correct, Romani? We still have a few bits, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's correct still. And what about the other way around? How's, how's Ron been getting on at Swindon? Um, brilliant, really. Obviously, I've seen the video of him darting through the whole team <laughs> thought he was going to take it on himself but yeah to be fair I know some of the lads that Swindon being there myself and all of them speak highly of him saying he's a lovely lad and that he's doing so well and you can see it in his performances really so I'm just oh. pleased for him oh that's good to hear is that did you you two speak obviously before you went to, to Swindon in the summer Romani did you speak to Ramani a lot about the club and what it's like there and everything yeah, I asked him because obviously I was um, obviously because we're friends. I spoke to him while he was there, like so I knew what it was about. To be fair, but before I decided to go, like I asked him, is it a good move? And he, there was nothing but good reviews. To be fair, so I made it an easy decision. And how are you finding it, Roms? Because obviously we've had Ramani's version of your load, but how are you finding it? Is it is much the same for you? Well, it's literally what he said. Like I'm just enjoying it, playing a lot of minutes, um, getting some good performances under my belt. Um, some new experiences and stuff like that, playing against different like styles of football and then playing the good football that we do at Swindon. It's it's been easy to transition from Huddersfield to Swindon. So but nothing but a good time so far. So can't complain. No, that's good to hear. You um you've got a knock at the minute. How's that how's that going? Is it only a couple of weeks? You should be okay. Yeah, it's just like a badly sprained ankle, like funny landing during a game. So just a couple of weeks. Like I've already been out for two, so it's like two two more weeks at most, hopefully. That's good. Um, Ramani, what about yourself? How, in your own words, rather than Rob's, how how's your load going? Um, really well, to be fair. It's like everything I expected, really. I knew that I was I had to go there, work hard, knowing that I missed preseason, and fight for my place. At the beginning, wasn't really playing, but I kept, kept digging in, kept, kept working hard, really. And finally, I got my chance and I'm taking it at the moment. So like, I'm really enjoying it. Um, everyone around the place is so lovely. So, yeah, I have no complaints. That's good to hear. Obviously, a lot of the feedback we get is on social media and everything, doing what we do at the club. Um, so we can monitor the sort of the comments from the fans and you've both quickly become fan favourites at Swindon and Rotherham. Is that something that's quite nice to you, even though you're lone players and, and obviously you, you belong to town, this is your home club, but it being there, the, the fans still have a, a really warm feeling towards you, it sounds like. Yeah, it's always nice to be appreciated by the fans, especially like, like I don't, I'm not really a big person that reads a lot of comments on Twitter, like whether I've had a good or bad game. So to see like some of them, I see good things. It's just, it's always nice, it's like reassuring, isn't it? Yeah. What about yourself, Rams? Yeah, I'm the same, really. I don't really check social media like that, but it's obviously nice to see these nice comments. When when it does pop up, it just makes you feel good about yourself, really. That's good. Do you two check in with each other then after the games? Is it a group chat? Is it phone calls, FaceTime? Do you guys check in and, and see how each other's getting on? Yeah, to be fair, there's a big group of us that, like that check-in like as soon as my game's done to be fair I'm just on Sky Sports checking in what like, all, all my friends scores to be fair so we know which we, we know what's happened every game day to be fair so if someone's had a good game and like played got the three points like it's always a well done like 
and we speak to each other pretty much like before every game saying good luck and that's so always it's a constant thing really like we're all here to you know, support each other really well that's good is, it, is that something you're involved with as well Ramon? yeah um so mainly we speak over like playstation and like we speak to each other every day so like we always know what's going on so what are we like, playing on the playstation Oh. You answer this. I don't play. I'm just there to. Yeah, to be fair, you're just you're just there for the chat. It could be a Call of Duty. <laughs> it could be a FIFA. It's, it could be anything really, depending on what the group's feeling. To be fair, is it a few of the town boys involved, or is it just you, Rums? There's a few. There's a few of us. I won't put any names out there, but there's a big group of us. <laughs> yeah. big group of us around it. That's good. So is, is because one of the, one of the pieces of feedback we get from the lads who are, who are in the first team at the minute here is how warm the group is, how much they're all getting along. It, it sounds as if that's sort of extending out to you lads, even though you're on loan, you're still part of that, which is obviously great to hear. Mm-hmm. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I keep in contact with obviously a lot of them, whether it's Rams on loan or like even if it's Josh or Reese, like it's 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 never going to be like a thing where I stop talking to people at town. Or just yeah. Come yeah, on. yeah. It's not hard to keep in contact, especially when we're on PlayStation the majority of the time or like I can drop a message to anyone. So it's it's not hard. So the warm feeling is still there. Rams, you you obviously live with uh, Rams and JK um, and you won't be at the minute because you're at different clubs and everything. But is that a dynamic that you guys are missing? You're missing housing together or are you looking forward to being back or how's it? No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I do miss it to be fair. Like we had like <laughs> we had a good little car school and like it was just a good environment like because we're so close it, it was just so it's so loving in there like it's just so <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, you not agree, Roms? I just missed the cooking. I'll be honest. Who's we the didn't. chef? Rams is the best chef. Big chef. Okay, what's on the menu, Roms? Oh, you told him. This is all you um, I can cook a good meatballs and pasta. Okay. And then I, I got brown stew chicken and rice. Nice. Curry chicken and rice. And I think that's the only thing I can cook. So, so have you can, taught yourself just, to cook? Or have you, nah, is this something you've got from home? Yeah, something I got from home, really. So your mum? Yeah. Oh, nice. So are you, are you willing to? To vouch for this cooking in Romney. Oh yeah, hundred no percent. You doubt, you never you're never getting in the kitchen though. No, 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 no. It's not, <laughs> it's not my forte, I'll be honest. So not we a- we put in Rams forward as the best chef at town then? No. I, I don't know. I don't know. No. I haven't seen Ross cooking, but he's been good for me, so I can't say nothing else. What's his name's good? Um Aaron Rowe. Aaron Rowe's oh, a good chef. Good chef. Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. It's good to hear. So, do you guys, when you were when you were back here, was did you sort of eat around each other's house and stuff? Because you're sort of similar ages, come through the academy and things together. Is that something that you guys have built into your sort of friendship and dynamic? Oh, yeah, it weren't like a planned thing. If it happened, it happened. Like if someone yeah. just said, Come, "There's food here," it just happens really. Or we'll just stay at home and just chill. Really, it weren't like a scheduled thing. If it happened, it happens. In fact. Well, that's good to hear. If there's enough food and they drop the message, we'll, get, <laughs> we'll go around there. <laughs> that's, that's just how it worked, really. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's good. If we um, we actually talk about the, the football for a second rather than the cooking, although that's probably as important and as interesting, um, how are you guys finding it in, in the clubs at the minute? Is it Was it easy to settle in going on loan? Because obviously you guys have been out on loan a few times, but I think stepping into the levels you are is, is probably a little bit different to what you've done previously. How's it been adapting to, to sort of life at a different club for a season? If, if you want to kick us off, Rams. Um, obviously, been on loan like a number of times now. I knew what to expect. Yeah. But um, I just, I think I went to Rotherham and it was like a breath of fresh air, really. Like, it was just... Everyone was so welcoming, and like I got straight to it, and I'm just thankful. All the, everyone just um, welcomed me so nicely, really. 
because like you know how it is going to a new club it could be hard yeah so that just made me feel um that's what I'm looking for welcome yeah yeah welcome so like just help me get on straight away to football really yeah, and how's it been working under Paul Warren? Because he's obviously a, a coach that t- likes to play football a specific way and, and you guys are doing quite well in the league at the minute. So is that something that sort of has been a uh, help to your game, something you've been learning from? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, you just know you just know what to do really. Like, you know that if we're going into the game, we're, we're going to press and then... Obviously, if it's on to hit the target man, we can hit the target man, but we can eat also play. So yeah. we've got a we've got a mix really. And like obviously it took me a few few weeks to get used to that. But then when I got used to it, it just sort of became natural to me really. Okay. Is that a similar experience under Ben Garner at, um, at Swindon Rom, sorry? Yes, to be fair, it was quite easy to settle in here. Um, like I came in here confident and like willing to fight for my place in the team. Um, like I had a goal to that I wanted to achieve when I got here, so it wasn't really it wasn't really hard for me to like go in with confidence and try and establish my position. So once I got in, I just had to make the make the make it hard for him to take me out. Really, so it was just about keeping up performances. So I can't I can't really fault anyone at Swindon because everyone was like. Like Ram said, pretty welcoming, and like everyone expected me to come in and play well. To be fair, so like there was never any doubts. Yeah, Ram's mentioned it earlier, but that that run you made through the the midfield and, and towards yeah. the final third has been something that's been clipped up and shared across social a lot. Mm. Is that your highlight of the season so far? Or is that what was what was happening there? Can you fill us in on what you just saw a bit of space and went for it, or is that something you try to add to your game or? Or build on. Yeah, to be honest, it was a bit of a rush of blood. Like I, don't, <laughs> I can't even explain it. Like we was, it was a cup game against Plymouth, and I think we were just seeing out a game, and then like we had the ball for majority at the end of the game, and then I just got the ball from the keeper and just saw space. I just carried on running. I was just thinking, why is no one tackling me here? And then I just carried on running. To be fair, and then just slipped someone through. So it, it's something that is in my game. Like I always, we like obviously at Swindon and even at Huddersfield would like to play out the back. So obviously if I can do that more, it makes it makes me a lot a lot better as a defender who can play out the back. So it is something. It, it was a good highlight to be fair enough. <laughs> I'll keep that one forever. <laughs> do you think those minutes are going to be something when you, you come back to town and when you, you're thinking about playing in the championship again are going to be able to make you a better player and, and help you, you know, go straight into the, the first team set up with a little bit more confidence than you might have had previously? Before the loan, go on, Ramsey. You go first, bro. Uh, I didn't even hear the question. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> yeah, I think um, the minutes obviously going out on loan is the main purpose is to get first team minutes that are a regular basis. Like, so I think the amount of minutes I've played so far, and even for Rams, for example, like it will always be a good thing going back into next season, like to play at a higher level. So I've the minutes so far have been good and obviously trying to get a lot more before the end of the season. So, yeah. it's been good so far. Rams, do you think the, the minutes you are getting and the, the experience you're getting are sort of, are you feeling yourself becoming a more confident and better defender as a result of that? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I'm happy with the minutes I've got so far and um, hopefully I can just keep up performances really and then it can just make me into a better player so next year when I do come back, it can help me push on to maybe establish my pace in Huddersfield's team. Yeah. I was going to ask you, because Rom's brought up earlier and asked him about his highlights, but he mentioned you flying down the wing and putting in some Beckham crosses. Is that something you've been asked to do specifically or is that a rush of blood for you? Um, a bit of both, really. <laughs> um, I just know if... Um, like if the ball comes back to me, got I'm I'm crossing it in, sort of thing. To be fair, I do have a good delivery. I give myself that. So, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just cross it in, and I say my highlight 
so far is um, the goal I scored against Cheltenham. Yeah. Gerard! Yeah, so... Um, I got that Good. one in the locker, so it's glad to like finally pull it off. I've been trying for a number yeah. of years. So to pull that one off, I'm just for happy that people, one. For people who haven't seen it, Rams, do you wanna do you wanna talk us through the finish? Um okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know why I was that far up the pitch. <laughs> first first of all. Um but I'm on the edge of the box and then the balls come out to me like perfect set. And I'm thinking, do I cross this or do I actually strike it? And then I've striked it and it just arrowed into the bottom corner. That's the word I like to use, arrowed. So, yeah. But to be fair, when I scored, I was like, oh my God, it's gone in. Like, <laughs> it's actually gone in. So, yeah. How are you? Was that, is that an accurate playback, do you think, Roms? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Absolute screamer. Absolute. How many times has he put that in the group chat by now? Oh, you should, like, when um, the game was finished and we're checking scores, I called up, everyone in the group chat was like, wait, Rams have scored, what's going on here? Like, what was the header <laughs> or something? And then he popped in, like, half an hour later with a little clip of, like, the screamer <laughs> and him just running around celebrating. It was like, what is going on? Like, no one, no one was expecting it. Do you guys kind of, because you are so close, do you get kind of buzzing for each other when something like that happens you like have that because you are close mates and everything do you feel proud that your boys kind of done something and, and he's playing so well on loan oh yeah with that 100% 100% for our friends like, if everyone's doing well everyone feels much better about it like it doesn't matter like if they've had a bad game everyone's always there to support each other but like when the good things happen everyone's there like cheering each other on like it feels good to cheer your friend on, like if he scored or like got a clean sheet, for example, like it's everyone gets the accolades, so it's always good. Yeah, good. yeah I feel it's him still. It's like you just want to see your friends do well. Like even if they have a bad game, you speak to them about it, and like, you just want to encourage them. But yeah, if you see them doing well, it's even better. You get what I mean? So yeah. you want it. Everyone in the like group chat just wants to see each other do well. So yeah, that's good. Rams, do you think it helps that you two are in the same boat at the minute, if, rather than just one of you being out? The fact that both of you are out and you've got the same experience almost, you can you can lean on each other a bit. And that, that when you're having those chats and the text and talking on PlayStation and stuff, it isn't just you that's having that experience. You can almost bounce off each other and, and see if if somebody's had a bad game or something's happened or what have you. You can actually discuss it a bit more and, and you feel a bit more sort of supported because of that. Was that Rams or Rums? You. Rams. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, obviously, I know that Rums is always there for me. Like, if I need to speak to someone and he's the same with me, with him. Like, if I, if I need to speak to him about something, because we've been through this quite a few times now, both being on loan at the same time. Yeah, like, and we used to live to, together. It's a thing where we know, like, when when each other's like needs a push or like, when we congratulate each other. So I think it's just good, really. Yeah. What about you, Rams? Yes, yeah, exact same. To be fair, like we know each other so well. Like it's just we know if we have to say something to them or if they need a little bit of support or anything. Or sometimes you don't even have to say anything. It's just like, oh, well done, like. Yes, yeah. on to the next one. Like we we know we all know what we need to do. So it's always nice to have that little support network though, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, that sounds perfect. And it is good for you guys to to be able to have that. And I think fans really get some sort of heart and appreciation for the fact that that closeness that you guys have off the field sort of feeds into to how we do on the field, which is something in the years to come that I'm sure we'll be looking forward to. One question I wanted to ask you guys, and it feeds on something that Rams has just said about going on different loans and stuff is uh, when you join a new club, you obviously have to do your initiation and you have to get up and, and sing is usually the thing. Um, we know that Rahman is a better singer, out of you, the better cooker, sorry, out of you two, but who's the better singer? What, what's yep. the, the... Is it Rahman still? Yeah. What's going on? What's I, didn't, 
I didn't even have to sing when I joined Swindon. They said either sing or pay a certain amount of money. And I just said, you know what? Save my embarrassment. I'm, I'm, <laughs> the money. I'm not doing it. So, but it's there for a man that he sings all the time. All the time. Did What's you have to do it? What's going on today? <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, I, I did sing. I've done so many. I've done so many now. Like, What's your go-to song? Sean oh. King. Beautiful Girl. Nice banger. You're gonna give us a little. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> in, oh, he's, in, he's, in, asked, he's asked now. Could you not just give us ten seconds? Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Fair enough. Fair enough. Roms, obviously, when you stepped up to the first team at town, did they not make you sing? Yeah, but I choked. I choked. <laughs> Rams, what was the song? Do you remember? Chris Brown. Um, it was a Chris Brown song, yeah, that I know word for word, like I knew word for word. But the minute I stood up on the chair in front of everyone, I just like went blank. I think I sang the first line and then everyone was throwing. Your, your, your voice went all high pitch. Yeah, like, it, was, it was shambolic. Like, oh my God, it was terrible. Everyone was throwing white towels at me, telling me to get down and that got booed off. I just sat down. It was, <laughs> it was embarrassing. What's the best uh, out of all the lads at town at the minute? Who's the best singer? Who's the one that sort of likes it the most? Every, everyone in the world knows this, isn't it? Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Lewis. <laughs> Lewis O'Brien. Yeah, O'Brien. Absolutely. What does he sing? I don't even know the name of the song. What's it? Superstition. Oh, yeah. Oh, Stevie Wonder. I don't know. I don't know who sings it, but I, know, I just know. I just know that's the what thing that he sings or not. He's a great <laughs> singer. Well, that's a my... that's a great tip. Next time we have him on, we'll have to get him to, to sing a few to make up for the fact that Rams has pied us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lewis yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do that instead. Anyway, boys, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations on doing so well on loan, and hopefully we'll we'll catch up with you again soon. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Cheers. Thanks for having us. And uh, thank you to Sportsbroker for uh, for sponsoring the show as well. And we'll speak to you again before the West Brom game.